Hello, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and the last few weeks we've been doing demonstration and comparison videos of baritone ukuleles, tenor ukuleles and now for beginners and intermediates especially perhaps the most important which is the concert ukulele. So I have taken ukuleles ranging from £75 to about £1800 uh, based on 2018 UK prices. Uh, if you have a look, we're starting all the way over here and I would put the kettle on because we're going to be a while as we make our way around to the Blackbird Clara there. The question is, which one's the best one? Let's find out. Okay, the first ukulele we have here today is an Ortega and this is the RU Ocean. Uh, they do all sorts of colours, anything you can think of. They are all laminate Akumi top, back and sides. Um, but they've got good tuners, they play well, they feel like a Carla KAC, which is about £25 more. So if you can live with a brightly coloured or a kind of deep blue coloured ukulele for £75, 2018 UK price, then this is certainly a great place for you to start. Or if you want to take a ukulele on holiday and don't mind it getting damaged, this may be the one for you. Okay, the second ukulele today. This is an Ohana CK20, formerly known as the CK20S. This is a solid mahogany top with laminate mahogany back and sides, and this will set you back approximately 130 to 140 pounds UK 2018 prices. Um, this is one of the newer models that has an oven coal bridge and fretboard. Um, open geared tuners, which is something you don't see on too many ukes at this price. But yeah, let's give it a play, see what you think. Okay, the third ukulele today, this is the Carla K-A-S-C-G. The S stands for spruce, C stands for concert, and the G stands for gloss. This is laminate mahogany back and sides. You've got a lovely black plastic binding there. Uh, the walnut fingerboard and bridge. Some closed pack tuners. And traditionally, this has been one of the more popular Carla ukuleles. Certainly, uh, kind of, the next step up from your first uke, this would be a great one to go for. This is about... Well, current price, 152 99 2018 price. But it's a slightly different sound than you. Let's see what you think. Okay, this next ukulele is the Snail SUC M2. Uh, I very recently did a video on the SUC M1 and the SUC M3. The M1 is a laminate and the SUC M3 is an all solid wood instrument. So what's the M2? The M2 has a solid top, but what sets it apart from the others in the series is it also has a pickup, so you can plug it into an amp. Uh, it has a preamp. This one has one on the sound hole that you can see so you can control your volume and tone, but it's important to note with these that from one delivery to the next, we might get some that have them in the sound hole and then we might get some that have them on the side and it can become quite impossible to actually keep up with our product videos and, and product images because you can get a delivery with three and one might have one and two may have the other. So if you are looking at purchasing one of these from us or somewhere else, just make sure you check with the shop uh, because no one wants to disappoint you and uh, it may just be that something arrived very recently that they haven't been able to keep up with. 
So the other thing about this before I play is it has an ebony fingerboard and bridge. Uh, up to now, everything's been kind of walnut or a substitute for rosewood. Um, yeah, see what you think. Okay, moving ever so slightly up in price now, we have the Canalea Islander MC4RB, which is a laminate mahogany, but with some deluxe cosmetic appointments. So you've got the tortoiseshell sound hole rosette there, and the binding that we all go a little bit fruity for here at SUS. Uh, you've got the um, bridge pins as opposed to a tie-on bridge, and back to good old rosewood fingerboard and bridge on these models, and the Grover style open back tuners. And the current 2018 UK price on this is around 200 pounds. Okay, this next ukulele is requested as well. This is the Ohana CK50WG, which has a solid cedar top, a gloss finish, some gorgeous rope binding, and then the money shot is this lovely laminate willow back and sides. Look at that. So one of those really cool ukuleles that looks really normal from the front, and then when you want to be the showstopper, you go BAM! Once again, you've got the open back tuners, uh, rosewood fingerboard and bridge. Uh, not yet replaced this one with the oven coal. Um, this is jumping up slightly in price again. This is um, 215 pounds. So you're still in the same kind of ballpark as some of the others we've looked at so far. But after this, there does come a bit of a bit of a jump, really. Let's see what you think. Okay, the next ukulele today is in the next price bracket. So this is another snail. This is the SR04C. Uh, this is all solid acacia, so acacia top, back and sides. Lovely stripe there as well. Uh, you have a beveled edge. It's nice and comfortable. And then you've got the little scoop there as well to reach the higher frets. Um, I would have loved to have uh, to have done the Pono MCD, which is also a really competitive uke at this price. But as we were lining up the video, uh, the ukes for the videos, the uh, the MCD sold on the website. So unfortunately, uh, I can't compare the snail with that directly. But if you're looking for a ukulele that's all solid and you want to graduate from more, from more than something that's about two hundred pound, this would be a great stepping stone. Okay, this next ukulele may be familiar to some of you because it has the Martin name on the headstock. This is the Martin C1K. This is all solid Hawaiian colour, uh, made in Martin's Mexico factory. Uh, this is another price jump again. So the 2018 UK street price on this is about £550. Um, they vary greatly. So my advice to anybody looking for one of these is that 
you should contact the people you're looking to buy it from and just get get some photos. Uh, we'll certainly be happy to send you photos of the C1K because we get some that are this colour, we get some that are orange, we get some that are darker than this. It's uh, Coa is such a fascinating wood and I think that Martin just make the most of whatever, whatever colour they can get. So, yeah. Uh, this has the Grover open back tuners. And... Unlike a lot of the ukuleles except the snail, this does come with a really nice uh, padded gig bag. I think the brand is TKL, but uh, a good gig bag nevertheless. And this is about £550 if I haven't said already. Okay, another very popular ukulele. This is the Kaualoa OPO Spruce Concert. I believe the code is a KCO-10S. Uh, this is made in Thailand. Kaualoa very recently uh, expanded outside of Hawaii again. Uh, they've done it a few times with the Koalana Rage, but the OPO seems to have really hit um, the player that doesn't necessarily want to spend eight, nine hundred pounds on a ukulele, but they want something that has that kind of thin braced Koaloa style. I mean, all of the kind of rib bracing Koaloa use around the inside of this instrument uh, on their Hawaiian models, they, they use on these. And uh, I think the OPO is arguably one of the most popular instruments, if not the most popular brand that we sell uh, over 500 pound. This is uh, 599 UK 2018 prices. See what you think. Okay, this next ukulele is an Anui Nui ASR2. So this is a solid spruce top with the much sought after nowadays Indian rosewood back and sides. You also have an abalone rosette around the sound hole. Rosewood fingerboard and bridge. Uh, one thing you might note is that the Anui Nui style of concert is somewhere in between a soprano and a concert in size. The body is certainly smaller than the last ukulele I've played. Um, the neck feels more like a concert neck though. So yeah, it's not quite a, con it's not quite a soprano long neck, but it, it certainly has a, a kind of more focused, tighter sound. Let's see what you think. Okay, the next one on this video is the Koaloa KCM 00 MG, which is their Mango Concert. Uh, I could have done the Koa Koaloa, which is what I think uh, quite a few people would have expected. But these new Mango ukuleles are just like the mellow cousin of the Koa Koaloas. I mean, they are gorgeous. Um, I think going out on a limb as somebody that's owned a couple of Koaloas, I prefer the Mango. Um, it's gorgeous wood as well, but you know, for this is a Hawaiian-made instrument now. This is the first Hawaiian-made instrument in this uh, this list. Um, it's going to set you back about nine hundred pounds UK price, two thousand eighteen. Let's see what you think.
Okay, so the penultimate ukulele in this comparison video is the Kanalea K1 CGE. So this is uh, the Export Gloss Koa Concert. So it has an ebony fingerboard and bridge with the sand inlays. The open back Grover Kanalea tuners. Some gorgeous Koa, top, back and sides. But don't just judge this one. They're all beautiful in their own way. Um, no Canalea that seems to look, that look the same. If you ever look through our website and, and look through them, you will you'll always be able to tell them apart. And that's part of what makes them great. Uh, one of my favorite features of a Canalea, which is hard to put across in a video, is if you look inside the sound hole, they work on each brace to take kind of excess wood out. So the ukulele remains stable, but you, you certainly don't get quite as much weight as something perhaps like a Kamaka or a Martin. Um, something I've always loved about Canalea and uh, hopefully you do too now. Let's see what you think. Okay, the final ukulele of the day is the Blackbird Clara. Now this particular Blackbird Clara has a MySide pickup fitted, so you can plug it into an amp, but you can get these without. The main question to ask is what makes the Clara more expensive than the Ortega or the other ukuleles on this list? I believe science is probably the answer. This is made of a man-made material that they like to call Ecoa. This is made using wood fibres, plant fibres and resin, kind of baked at a high temperature. It, it responds like wood. Certainly, the first time I played a Blackbird, I thought it was made of wood. I just thought it was a pineapple concert ukulele. And having met Joel and his team of mad scientists from Blackbird at the NAMM show, it's, it's interesting to hear that they're constantly innovating and changing the design because they want to make an instrument that will respond like a 50-year-old Martin that's been dragged around on the floor behind you, something that's opened up and has a warmth to it. The uh, fingerboard is rich light, which is another man-made material, I believe made very similar way to the Yikoa. Uh, rich light's been around for a lot longer though, and you see it on everything from uh, door handles to, uh, to guitar fretboards. Martin used this material as well. Uh, it has a hollow neck, so that's not for a truss rod. If I could get inside, I could wave to you and be like, hey, how you doing? This is about £1,600, uh, the UK 2018 price. The final touch on this as well is the Goto planetary tuners. It's the small components that make these instruments expensive. You know, these, these tuners set you back about the same price as that Ortega ukulele. Um, and to have an instrument that is truly innovative, made in San Francisco, with its own sound and style and shape. You know, this is the ukulele in a hundred years that people will hopefully look at like they look at 1920s Martins now. So I love them and I hope you do too. Uh, before I play, I have left the manufacturer's low G on this instrument. So if you're hearing it slightly differently to the other concerts, it's because this is the only one in the list that had a low G fitted as standard. Let's see what you think. Okay, so I've spent my afternoon playing ukuleles for all of you. I'd love to know which one your favourite was. If you have any questions in the future about ukuleles, whether they're concerts, tenors, baritones, even banjo ukuleles, you can contact us on 01202 430820 or email us at shop at southernukulelestore.co.uk. Uh, I would love to answer any of your questions. And if there's another ukulele that I haven't played today that you would like to see in a future comparison video, don't hesitate to get in touch. That's how most of these ukuleles ended up in the video today. 
Uh, once again, I'm Alex and I'll speak to you soon.